all about how to let go and move on my ladies okay so i realize that a lot of people are in this new year new me energy and i'm here for it i love it but sometimes you've got to cut some cords and cut some people out and cut some habits out before we're able to move forward successfully so some of you guys might be feeling like you're trying to move forward and you're trying to make the efforts to move forward but you've got to officially cut some things some people some habits out so that you can successfully move forward, no strings attached. So if that, my ladies, is something that you're interested in, please make sure that you hit that thumbs up button as well as hit that subscribe button if it's your first time on the channel or if it's not your first time but you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet. Are you crazy? You don't want to be a beautiful? What? Beautifuls be like, what? You don't want to be a beautiful? You know you want to join the club. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay? And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I've got my notes down here, so if you see me looking down, that's why. Here is how to let go and move on, my friends. If you're somebody who's creating new goals and new habits for the year, it's really important to let go and cut cords with the old things, the old chapters, the old people of your life. If you want to move forward, you've got to close those chapters, close that book, so that you can successfully move forward without the mindset hindering you keeping you behind without the people uh hindering you keeping you behind and you know without the bad habits that you might have been doing in the past keeping you and hindering you from moving forward and we're going to talk about how we can move forward cut them out and keep progressing and keep leveling up all right so here we go number one this chapter is called letting go so we gotta let go and then we can move on so let go here's number one thing you need to do uh, sometimes we mentally feel that we need to let go of something or someone it could be a friend a family member or a habit or anything ask yourself what do you really need to release right now ask yourself this guys work with me while we're doing this video okay uh, maybe pull out a pencil pen and a paper maybe you've got your journal with you work with this through me you clicked on this video for a reason so let's get our hands dirty and get to the work right let's 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 do this together so ask yourself what are you ready to release right on your paper what am i trying to release or maybe you visually see it in your head what you're trying to release you know what it is you know what's stopping you from getting that next chapter of your life that next level of yourself that next evolution that next transformation that needs to take place what is stopping you from getting to that part that level that version write it down come up with at least three good reasons of why you need to release it if you come up with more than three reasons of why you need to let this thing go honey there's no turning back you know you need to let it go okay here's step number two on how to let go you can create a ceremony around letting go of your items or whatever it is that you're letting go, whether it's a friendship that you need to let go of, whether it's a habit that you need to let go of. Create some kind of symbolic ceremony to cut the cords and to end it. So for example, um, let's say you wrote down what you want to release on a piece of paper and then you wrote down the three reasons of why you need to release it. Your ceremony could be lighting that piece of paper on fire and as the fire is burning, as as that paper is burning um, imagine the cords or the bond or the ties that are holding you to that thing to that person to that habit are being burned in the fire or the chains are being broken in the fire or the obstacles are being absolved and um, erased in the fire okay so do a ceremony you know do the little writing exercise that I told you and then burn the paper or you know you can do a spiritual bath and visualize you know while you're in the water that the thing that you're trying to release is um, kind of oozing out of your pores into the water and will go down the drain when the bath is done and you will have released it or purged it so you can do a few different things you can burn your uh thing that you're releasing you can do a spiritual bath so that you can release it um you can even have a heart to heart session with somebody that you trust and say hey this is my intention this is what i'm ready to release and you just you know tell someone that you trust so that you can get it out of yourself so that you can maybe have an accountability buddy if it's somebody like if it's a person that you're trying to release though i would not recommend telling that person that you are releasing them i just wouldn't do it another example of you know something you can do to symbolize um 
or like a ceremony that you can do to symbolize that you're releasing something if you're into magic or you're into intention setting um, you can you know burn a candle and focus that intention into the candle light or you can do some kind of spell work I don't know whatever you choose to do just do something that symbolizes that you are letting go and releasing something um, and if you do choose to do some kind of ceremony um, now we're gonna move on to moving on so you know what you need to let go of you know why you need to let go of it you've done the ceremony or some kind of ritual so that you can begin the process of letting it go now you kind of engraved it in your mind yes I am doing this yes I am letting this go yes I am committing to this now here's step one on how to move on one, you acknowledge what is hindering you about the relationship, the object, or the subject that you're trying to release. Why can you no longer grow in this situation? So this is a little bit different than tell me three reasons why you need to release it. This is telling me what will happen if you don't let this go? What will happen if you don't release this person, this habit, this thing? Who are you going to be if you do nothing, if you change nothing, okay? And visualize that version of yourself. Maybe it's just who you are right now, the non-evolved or non-grown version of who you would like to be. This is going to be motivation of why you cannot stay still or stay planted in where you have been. This is going to kind of add fuel to the fire of why you need to take steps to move forward, okay? So acknowledge what's hindering you and why can you no longer grow in this circumstance why is this no longer working out for you anymore okay um, so this is going to help you to move on acknowledging it number two on how to move on is make a plan to cut out the distraction so whatever it is that thing is that you need to release maybe if it's a person an ex-lover uh, maybe it's a friend a family member who has a very low vibration and doesn't make you feel the best maybe it is a friend that you know you've been hanging on to by a thread and you know it's time to let them go maybe it's that habit of over drinking or of smoking or of hanging out where you know you have no business or of procrastination whatever it is to you could be sleeping in late I'm not judging you know what it is okay whatever it is make a plan to cut out that distraction so if it's a person that you need to cut out of your life what is a plan that you can implement so that they are no longer a problem for you for example if it's a friend that you're trying to cut out of your life what are you going to do so that you no longer are distracted by them are you going to delete their phone number are you going to stop texting them are you going to stop replying when they message you are you going to you know if you're in a school setting are you going to stop hanging out with them in the lunchroom i don't know um another example if it's a ex-boyfriend or ex-lover that you know you need to kick to the curb because he's just no good for you you need to you know do you need to move out do you need to leave your living situation do you need to um you know change your phone number what plan of action can you put in place or implement so that they are no longer a problem another example if it's you know stopping procrastination what are you going to do when you have things that need to get done so that you don't procrastinate if it's trying to stop drinking uh, what are you going to do to make sure you don't go to the bar on the weekend and get that drink what are you going to do to make sure you don't overindulge what are you going to do to stop yourself from doing that bad habit if it's cutting out smoking who are you going to stop hanging out with so that you are not introduced to those things you know what i mean you decide what it is for you you create the plan and then you've got to commit to the plan no matter what it is okay so the ceremony helps you to make sure that your mind is mentally on board and then that plan that you implement is putting into action that which you are releasing that which is no longer serving you and that which you're trying to move away from okay my mood was increasing just knowing that i was doing something positive about my situation and that's what you guys need to do um just acknowledge that I just say this affirmation I am doing something about my situation I am doing something to change my situation I am doing something to release myself from the situation and even just repeating that again and again and again and again and again to myself I want you guys to repeat that to yourself you will feel like you are you've kind of got the wheel turning you kind of got the ball rolling you know you're not at the beginning of the journey anymore you're kind of in the middle maybe or maybe you're closer to the end okay so it doesn't matter 
matter what you need to release, but you've got to have a plan to release it and you've got to know why it's got to be released, why you cannot grow without releasing it, okay? So here's my tip number three. Commit to that plan and execute it. Don't look back. Run forward, not backwards. If you look backwards while you're trying to walk forward, you will trip on your shoelaces and fall. Look forward, look forward, look forward. If it's somebody that you're trying to cut off, don't even entertain them with conversation until you can successfully say that you are 100% moved on and moved forward this could you know require you to not talk to them for a few months or maybe forever or maybe for a for a year i don't know what it takes but the fact of the matter is if you leave that door of communication open sometimes people can sort of squeeze their way back in through the cracks so you've got to be sure you've got to commit and then you've got to execute that plan okay um remember it's you or them it's you or that bad habit it's you or that ex okay you can't choose both okay you can plan your own life and you can plan your own future or you can be lumped to that person's life and that person's future so ask yourself this, where do you see that person that you're trying to cut off in five years from now, okay? Do you want to be attached to that train for the next five years? Because if you stay with them, you're going to be attached to that train. Now ask yourself, where do I see myself in the next five years if I release this habit or this person, okay? And hopefully you see yourself in a much better farther off place than you were in the past, okay? So it's you or them, it's you or that circumstance, it's you or that situation, you've gotta be the determining factor and say, I'm not gonna let this linger, I'm not gonna let this prolong itself, I gotta cut this off so I can move on. It's you or them. If you don't wanna be with them in five years, jump off the train now where you, while you can. If you don't wanna be friends with that person in five years, jump off the train while you can. If you don't wanna be smoking uh, or drinking senselessly in the next five years, jump off the train while you can. The change is in your hands, but you've gotta be the one to enforce it, to activate it, and to get it started, okay? It's that simple. And the last tip that I'm going to give you guys on how to uh, let go and move on, move forward, cut the cords, release, and purge. Okay, here's my tip number four. If you're trying to leave a person, um, you have to get your ducks in a row first. So for the example of this situation that I was in, I was trying to leave an old negative situation, right? Don't tell the person that you're trying to leave them because... If from experience they'll get they'll get crazy they'll get excited they'll try and stop you they'll try and convince you they'll eh, you can't leave me you can't leave me you can't leave this you need me you need this okay let's not even go down that road don't tell anybody anything move in silence because this is a personal change that you have decided to make for yourself if you decided you know you don't want to drink anymore you don't you know go announce it to everybody i mean but actually that might be a special instance where you do want to announce that so people don't say hey let's go to the bar hey let's go turn up this weekend in that case i would tell them hey i'm not doing this anymore so don't invite me to do those things because i'm not doing it in that case that is okay but in the case of like trying to leave an ex-lover uh trying to move away from like a friendship or something don't even tell them let your actions speak for itself so when i was like gathering the savings to move out and everything like that i wasn't saying every single plan i had because i knew that they would just try to bring me back into the situation if i let them know what i was doing so if you're planning on releasing and letting go of something and moving on let it be a personal decision you don't have to announce it to everybody as long as you know what your intention is you know what your plan is you can act execute it by yourself now this isn't to say like if you do have a really good friend and you need an accountability buddy that is fine and dandy but when you're trying to move away from somebody I would not let them know that you're trying to move away from them I would just do it and let your actions speak for itself you don't need closure um, when people say I need closure I need validation I need blah 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 no you don't the closure is i know that this is not good for me so i am shutting it down now that's the closure that you need that is the reassurance that you need and that is the validation that you need okay so don't feel like you need the validation of other people the validity of other people's thoughts and other people's opinions you don't need it okay you really don't so yeah that's everything i have to tell you you guys um once you finish executing the plan you will look around and see yourself out of 
as a better version of yourself, as a happier version of yourself, as a more productive version of yourself. And that's what we're going for. We're going for what can I do to evolve myself as a person? What can I do to make myself a better person? What can I do to make my environment more beautiful and high frequency? Okay, so whatever you got to cut off, a person, a friendship, a habit, whatever it is, 2020 is the year to kick it to the curb and I suggest you do it sooner than later because you do not want a repeat of the years that you've had in the past if they have not been good years. All right, you guys, so that is everything. Who's ready to release? Who's ready to let go? Who's ready to cut some cords? I know I am. You are with me. Write down in the comment section, I am releasing, blah, blah, blah. If you don't want to say what you are releasing, just say, I'm gonna do it okay so thank you guys so much for watching my video if it was helpful and inspiring to you please make sure you hit that thumbs up button signifies that you are on board you're ready to release and you are doing what it takes creating the plan and you're doing it okay so make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe if you're not subscribed already to the channel I post new videos every week that are motivational encouraging inspiring ladies level up inspired okay so if that's something that you're interested in make sure that you stick around and hang out with us for a little bit all right i love you guys i will see you in my next video bye